Hey guys, just going to give a brief overview on how to snorkel a Ranger 570. This is a full size, it should also work on the mid size. I believe set 2017 and up, the round bar they call it. This is a 2020 model, and this is an easy way to snorkel it without cutting into your bed. Going to try and keep this video pretty short. On the driver's side here, we've got our intake snorkel for the engine, we've got our intake snorkel for the air run down coming straight in using your factory piece here it's just a fernco fitting that's a two inch to one and a half same deal for the intake on the belt let's get back here two inch to one and a half and as you can see we made a cut here and made a cut here on the stock intake one for the air box itself went ahead and sealed it because the factory Polaris seal is not the greatest. I'm going to show you guys some of the components I used here at the end of the video. But I actually used rubber weather stripping and a little bit of silicone. Haven't had any issues with the air box. Haven't had any issues with the belt box. This thing has been easily up to the seat a little bit higher. Um, you know, I'm not looking to drown it, but just wanted a little more clearance for my belt exhaust. Currently I'm using the stock one which is your stock piece. It usually comes up here to a little vent and I cut it. I do not recommend this. You would just need a two inch to one and a half again. Coming out here, follows along the frame, and then it exits on the passenger side. No cutting of the bed, sticks to the frame rail, no problems. If you notice on the intake side, it's a little tougher to run it against the frame just because I didn't have a lot of material and it's a thicker material. I ran, it's an inch and seven eighths, I believe it's called rigid. It's vacuum hose. It's actually stronger than pool spa hose and will give you a little bit better airflow. The comes in a 10 or 12 foot piece. It's enough to do your two intakes. For my exhaust, because it is the exhaust, God forbid something goes bad, I'd rather water be in the belt versus in the engine. It's just the typical inch and a half pool spa hose there. You can see it's a little bit thinner. I've yet to put a 90 on that, but it's coming. All in all, this project shouldn't run you more than 90 bucks, 100 total. I mean, I've got a little bit of heat shielding here. That's probably one of the more expensive items if you don't have it around the house. But um, short of that, it's not bad. So items you're going to need. Again, inch and 7 eighths vacuum hose. Got it from Home Depot. Comes in a 12-foot spool. That will do both of your intakes. Intake for your belt, intake for your engine. Two, two inch to one and a half inch Fernco adapters. Yes, this measures two and an eighth, two and a half, but it is not bad. You use a little silicone here and a heat gun stretches right over, nice tight fit. Same deal here. I will show you what I'm talking about. This side would go a little bit of silicone here. After you heat it, slide into your air box. A little bit of silicone on here, obviously. Put it in, clamp it down, another bead of silicone wrapping around the edge. Obviously this connector is much bigger, just using it for an example. For the air box, this is the rubber seal I used. Just like a garage door seal, I believe it's 17 30 seconds. Sticky side going inside towards your air filter. And then if you notice, I did go ahead and wrap the intake side in duct tape and the exhaust just because this is going to be exposed to mud water everything right here this keeps it you know just an extra layer of protection for your hoses i mean this is your intake to your motor spend a little bit more these are just little two inch of course elbows these fittings all came minus the elbows with your vacuum kit that kit's about 30 bucks it's a little pricey but i mean this hose obviously you guys aren't here in person very tough Kind of tough to cut. I definitely think it's worth the money for the intake side. The exhaust, I went with the typical pool spa hose. You can see it's much thinner material, easy to cut. And again, your connectors, two inch to one and a half Fernco. Two inch, one and a half Fernco. And what I should be using here, they just ran out at my store. Again, two inch to one and a half Fernco. All wrapped in a little bit of duct tape. Right here, you want a little bit of heat shielding just to play it safe. Again, on your air box, go ahead and use that. You, you can use a Polaris seal if you want, but I went ahead and used that rubber seal. Kept everything nice and safe. And I use a little bit of silicone on top of the seal here. 
that will allow the airbox to slide on top of it easier because this is a tough rubber and then when you lock the airbox down silicone will dry just an added layer of protection don't forget to silicone your plug here and of course right here is a horrible leak point from the factory and of course your drain port at the very bottom of the airbox as well short of that running the vent lines is easy everyone should know how to do that that's just one from your rear diff there just 3 8 clear tubing also purchased at Home Depot we'll walk around the buggy here 3 8 coming from the gas line coming up there's just another shot of the snorkel there two on the opposite side bed closes no problems again this one can be run against the frame because it's only inch and a half these are kind of run at a slight angle you have to play with that based on your machine and how tight you want your bed to hit hit when it closes but I mean everything works fine again this has been up to the seat multiple times never had an issue front diff is easy as well just follow the the hose pop your little hood I'll show you guys but it's extremely easy as well to vent it There it is. That one I didn't even use a clear line because I had enough from the factory. Coming straight up there. I don't plan on going any taller, so not a problem. Any questions, go ahead and comment. And uh, hopefully all in all, this project will get you going in a weekend and you can be rolling for under 100 bucks.